हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस इट्स नथिंग बट एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल द फार्मास्यूटिकल्स व्हाट डज एनालिसिस मीन they are basically all the results or tests that you perform in the lab like identification solubility lod assay impurities etc so these are all the general tests that you keep performing for your uh, analysis that's analysis but of what do you perform of pharmaceuticals which are these pharmaceuticals they are things like api formulations which can be solid oral liquid oral parenterals etc they can be biologics they can be excipients and so on so when you perform such tests that is analyzing these products is known as pharmaceutical analysis this gives you a brief idea what pharmaceutical analysis will be now when you know what pharmaceutical analysis is you should also know the importance of pharmaceutical analysis all of you are here to uh, give an entrance exam for mpharm you might land up doing mpharm in maybe sutex cology cognosi pharm chem or analysis these are the most common subjects where you would be pursuing mpharm now if you take an analysis as your mpharm subject what you would mainly be doing is method development in such a project what you do is develop a method to analyze pharmaceuticals for example you develop an assay method of paracetamol to analyze the purity of uh, paracetamol that is nothing but farm analysis project so for such m farm you need to have knowledge of farm analysis uh, for, if you do m farm in farm chem your basic project would be synthesis if you synthesize a chemical compound a drug say for uh, oncology drug to prove what you have synthesized you will have to analyze that drug and identify what you have or uh, synthesize so again knowledge of pharmaceutical analysis is important if you do a farm chem project if you are doing pharmacognosy what you do is mainly extractions in such a project you extract a constituent from herbal plant product example you extract a constituent from a bark on extraction you have to prove what you have extracted in which you will have to analyze or identify that extracted constituent hence again pharmaceutical analysis is important for cognosy project if you are doing cology you might be doing drug response here again you will extract uh, blood fluids from animal and analyze the drug content to find drug curve in the blood sample again analysis is important for such a project if you do sutex you will be formulating a medicine for example you are formulating paracetamol tablet in that again you will be analyzing the formulated tablet to prove your project so analysis would also include things like uh, friability disintegration dissolution etc this just gives you an overview how important this subject pharmaceutical analysis is 
even if you take any other subject for your m farm so the study and knowledge of pharmaceutical analysis is most important for all m farm students going further which are the important analytical methods that we studied till now examples include titrations which we have been studying since 11th standard things like iodometry iodimetry then acid base edta or complexometry uh redox etc are common titrations which we have been studying since the beginning other uh, pharmaceutical analytical methods would include something like limit tests the common ones are uh, visual tests using nestler cylinders others include spectroscopies chromatography there are analysis using microscopies the most popular ones what are we more concentrated on is these two as part of your pharmaceutical analysis microscopy is nothing but doing your particle size analysis or uh, shape of particles etc are done by microscopy titrations you are very well aware since the beginning limit test is not very important because they are more of visual methods what we focus more is on these two chromatography and spectroscopies i would be uh, going in depth with the term spectroscopy what is spectroscopy it's all the methods of analysis using radiations when these radiations these radiations are nothing but electromagnetic radiations when these radiations are used to analyze pharmaceuticals it's known as spectroscopy spectroscopies use many kind of radiations i am just writing down here there will be radiations like uv like x ray nmr mas i r again the most popular methods so in my lectures you would be studying pharmaceutical analysis using spectroscopical methods of electromagnetic radiations and mainly on uv my forthcoming lectures would be on uv coming to the term spectroscopy as i had mentioned they are nothing but analyzing pharmaceuticals using electromagnetic radiations now why is this method more useful or uh, running in this days because they are all instrumental methods there's a lot of benefit when the analysis is done through instruments compared to manual methods manual methods are nothing but titration uh, using example phenolphthalein if you have to see the faint pink color change the faint pink color that you see and your partner will see might differ by a little uh, ml of the titrant which can lead to manual error when you come to instrumental method all those manual errors are cut down because instrumental methods have accuracy they have precision and they have reliability which is why most of the methods developed these days are instrumental methods so you have to remember if you get into a project of pharmaceutical analysis you will be developing and validating methods which are instrument based there is no project going on right now where you will be developing a method using manual inspection or visual inspection